Welcome back, everybody. My name's Aprater54, aka Adam, Cartoon the Chesney Park Slowpokes. And today I bring you week number five of UNPL. Today I face off against Scrub Supreme, one of the, uh, I believe he's commissioners of this league. And he's coach of the Florida Dirges. They beat me last season, and I want a little bit of revenge, but this is not going to be an easy game. Folks, for back-to-back -back weeks, we have a weather war on our hands. He has Gouging Fire, Annihilate, Torkoal, Terra Captain Venusaur, which is Poison, Fairy, Ground. He has King Gambit. He has Mamoswine. He has Terra Captain Zebstrika, which is Electric, Water, Fire. Sharpness boosted Cleavor, which absolutely terrifies the crap out of me. And Meowstic Male that could just do about anything it wants to to cripple me if it comes. Uh, trick on Meowstic Male is just annoying as all hell. So that was like the first thing this matchup screamed to me. And then he has a Dosh Bun that if I... I slam a fire move into anything. He just gets plus two defense and then body presses all over me. And I I hate it. Like, so much. It's another reason why I'm Terra Ghost Houndstone this week. Just in case I need to block body press. Freaking Dosh Bun. Why am I scared of a dog? I'm like, Jesus. I don't like this. I'm also scared of Torko. Because a lot of my team's physical and I don't want to be burned. That's another reason why Squawkabilly's sitting in front of you with guts this week. I don't want to be yawned. I don't want to be burned. I don't want to be forced out into hazards. I just want to sit here and hit things. His team is so fat defensive-wise. I'm taking a huge risk being, bringing mostly a physical team. Uh, but Excadrill's here for Rapid Spin, which could get blocked by the stupid annihilate and if that comes in he can block me he doesn't take any damage at all sets up a bulk up in my face annihilate is something you don't sleep on there's so many other factors uh venus can come in the sun spam weather ball against my entire team i don't like that either it becomes rock type move and my sand becomes fire type in his sun and then he could just run Petal Blizzard and smack me in the face or, I don't know, be mixed? I don't know what the Venusaur is going to be if it comes. I don't even know if Venusaur is coming. I'm more scared about the Zebstrika and I don't know why. Because for some reason, Terra Fire Zebstrika just... I don't like it at all. Like... It hits me pretty hard. Like, it kills the Araquanid, it kills the Squawkabilly, it, it... Shit, it gets double kick for Trianatar with one hit KOs. Like, why does Zephyrstrika do so much to me? It's absolutely annoying. Uh... Well, yeah, that's the Excadrill. I just need to get rid of Hazards if he sets them. I, I don't mind if they're up, as long as it's not like T-Spikes. Rocks I can deal with because those are guaranteed with Cleavor if it comes. I don't think there's been a single week where Cleavor hasn't come. So it's nice to have spin just in case. I almost was choice banned because I want to just like do 80% through the Annihilate and make it question life and go for the Drain Punch disc to get it back because I'm silly. But we'll see what it is. That, I don't know why. Meowstic, for some reason on this team, just scares the shit out of me. So does Mamoswine and King Gambit. I just don't want to lose King Gambit two weeks in a row. So I brought an interesting Latias set. Uh, in front of King Gambit, if I click the Reflect type, I become his Dark and Steel type. Now I resist Sucker Punch and I resist Iron Head. Allowing me to blow it back with Aura Spear. Mist Ball is here for the Venusaur. And Dragon Pulse is just spammable on his team. It's it's that simple. Well, I wouldn't say 100% spammable. The stupid dog 
that I hate is there. And if I can't kill the stupid dog, Playroft just body bags me. I'm a ladios. And I'm not thrilled. Uh, this week I have a Raquinid with uh, 84 defense impish, 176 attack, 248 HP. This takes a Dragon Dance plus booster attack. Uh, Dragon Claw from Gouging Fire. Relatively choose it. Absolutely choose it. He has to lock into Outrage to body bang me. I want to ground this week. Oh, it just doesn't feel right running Fairy, so I chose Ground. Water didn't seem right because I didn't want to get Thunder Fanged to Oblivion by the uh, Gouging Fire because it does get it. If it's plus two attack, Thunder Fang, Araquanid just falls if I take any chip. If I am full HP, I take one and I do about 45, 45 to 52% mid-range to the gouging fire even though it's neutral which isn't bad it's not bad at all because water bubble overrides the resist but uh, it's still pretty problematic uh sticky webs is here to slow his team down because i don't want to deal with venusaur without it even if it's like scarf that still allows me to outpace it. Sticky Webs is also risky into Defiant Annihilate because he could just take that, do the bulk up set, standard, be Defiant, Rage, Fish, Drain, Punch, standard, Annihilate. He has a lot of threats to deal with. Oh, uh, Squawkabilly's here. Game plan is to have this no matter what be my designated lead. I click Protect, get my Flame Orb. And then I either risk U-turn or risk Brave Bird. <sighs> Last thing I want is lead Cleavor if I see it. Here's how terrifying it is. If I see Cleavor lead, I protect. And then I U-turn to try and see if it's Scarf. If it's Scarf, okay. If it's Banded, I do a lot of damage, and then I can safely pivot into Trianitar or Excudo. If it's Expert Belt and I get bluffed out, well now I'm sacking, uh, risking damage on my Sand Setter, which gets outsped and clapped by a Cleavor, which can get close combat. He could bluff me out completely by whatever lead he does. So I'm doing Protect to see what it is. And then I'm risking an entire bird on clicking U-turn or Brave Bird. It's as simple as that. Stone Axe can miss. I'm banking on a miss. And that is sad. That is so nerve-wracking. Next, we have Houndstone with Poltergeist, Will-O-Wisp, Play Rough, and Pain Split. Will-O-Wisp is to burn, cripple the King Gambit. Pain splits to if I get low from life orb recoil. This a swap comes in and I take all of their delicious nutritious HP. And play rough is just to be neutral on the King Gambit and the Gouging Fire. And Poltergeist just does not have a switch in on his team because he does not have a ghost. Oh, sorry, a normal type. He has one resistant Gambit. That is it. If Gouging Fire is anything but Booster, Poltergeist absolutely smacks it in the face for 97% damage. Terra Ghost, if it still has his item, max roll. That is ridiculous damage, and then it dies to Sand. That is an out I have. That is something I could possibly do. And we're just going to see what happens. But if anything, I tank a hit from Gouging Fire. And then I'm able to Pain Split as a last resort. And if Sand's up, that's Chip. That's the game plan. And then I'm going to 
spray. If rocks aren't up, I'm going to go into something that can take a hit from gouging fire. Name of the game. Stop gouging fire at any cost. I cannot let that thing get to plus two speed because it outspeeds my Excadrill. And it's the reason why I have the defense bulk in my Araquanet to get it down. I don't, I don't like this matchup. And then we have Latias. Okay, so let me explain this set real quick. Reflect type. King Gambit comes in on me trying to take a miss ball. What I do is I click Reflect type on it going for Sucker Punch or DD. Okay, sorry, Swords in. What happens is I don't die from Black Glass's Sucker Punch, even at plus five allies fallen because i become the dark and the steel type meaning i resist sucker punch iron head and kowtow cleave meanwhile unless he is max hp max spadef or a spear one shots in return so he could go for that sucker punch on my reflect type i change my typing and then i blow him back and because I'm Levitate, I'm now resistant to the Terror Ground on the Venusaur. And I'm also... Well, I make myself times four weak to the Annihilate, so I will have to switch if it is Scarf. If I see anything on the Annihilate that is not a Scarf, or something weird, Latias is sitting pretty. But that is the team. Oh, wait. We have Stealth Rock on Triana Char for Chip. We have Earthquake. We have Brick Break in case Screens Meow Stick comes. And we have Thunder Wave to cripple his team. If Zep Striker does not come, T Wave is completely spammable for free on his team if I can position it in properly. This is another vital reason why I need to confirm if Cleavor is choice. Because if I can bring an entire Ranatar on anything that is choice and it resists the hit, free T-Wave. That is the name of the game is to cripple something. And I feel like the immediate answer to Trianatar would be King Gambit or it would be the stupid Venusaur. Either of those get uh, paralyzed. Chef's kiss. I got a lot of things I need to happen. I have a lot of planned out strategic maneuvers in this entire game just to not lose to Gouging Fire. Ugh, I hate. I love using Gouging Fire, but I hate playing it. But anyways, we're going to hop on into this battle. We're going to see how it goes. And normally Sun just plasters sand. So we're going to see what happens. But anyways, let's have a fun one. All right, let's see what Scrub brought. There is no Torkoal, so this is most likely Manual Sun, which is very, very interesting. And I did not bring the Brick Break for the weird little uh, kitty kitty. So there realistically is no poltergeist switch in so mm. da -da -na -na -na. You know what? We're going to lead the Squawkabilly. Let's see what he's cooking for meme-wise. Best case scenario is I protect here into Cleavor. Protect. Find out if you're a scarf, buddy boy. You click U-turn, you're scarf. 
You click Skona to your scarf. You turn. Oh, he missed. So he is Scarf. Thunder Wave. I want to catch something. No way you were faster than me. That Stone Edge, mi Stone Axe miss was very unfortunate for them and fortunate for me. He might actually still go for it here just to get the rocks. But if he does, that's good for me. If he swaps, that's good for me as well. What are you doing? Unless I miss AV'd and I'm adamant somehow, this should be Scarf. And I did not see a Dead Striker. I only saw the Venusaur. Anima. Sounds like an Annihilate. No, that is a Venusaur. Let's go! Nalum? You are leftovers. Alright. Uh, priority. You can hit me, I don't care. That's fine. We go into this. And caught you, levitate. Alright, do you go Hard King Gambit here, though? That is the question of the day. We're gonna see. Question of the day. Humor me, please, and go King Gambit. Is that a King of Gambits? What is Jet? That is Gambit! Goodbye! Alright, off to a good start. Annihilate is still here. There is no Miss Ball switching. Let's see what Gouging Fire is. Uh, 
I just realized I could have been Terra Fairy on my Raquinid over ground and completely walled this gouging fire. Like, completely. Anima! Hi. Hello! Oh, ret reflect type fails. I'm an idiot. Uh, fairy ground poison. So I become his ground typing. Okay, so that prevented the leech seed. If he wouldn't have terrored there, I was taking his grass and poison typing, and then leech seed fails. Which would have been hilarious. <laughs> it would have been absolutely hilarious if he went for, uh, went for that. That minus special attack boost is clutch. Oh shit, wrong move. Oopsie. Oops. Oops. Uh, oopsie. I'm anti brave bird. He's physical, and I take burn. You turn. I need to keep my HP on this for Annihilate. This is a max HP. That's all hell, Venusaur. Good lord. He might go into Annihilate, fearing the facade. Riku! Riku takes rocks. Riku takes U-turn. I set sand. Stone.
in case you are close combat. Poltergeist. I'll spin those away, I don't care. He's ballsy for doing that in front of the Tyranitar. He could have clicked U turn. Delicious. Fortunately, I don't have any of the DLC music because I'm using my wife's switch for this battle, but Nimona is always a classic. Now what? Aron? Split. Play rough. I even need to take this. And if I did this correctly, I kinda screwed myself. Let's go! Goodbye! Uh-uh, nope. Problem is now is the annihilate. Alright, so I made it out of this with only losing one. He is not boots. I liquidation for damage in case they want to bulk up.
I probably should have clicked protect. Oh wait, I don't have forget. I have Terror Blast. And uh, that is exactly why I hit you. Lefties. We're both lefties. Okay. And I let you take this as a worthy sacrifice. That is fine. Iraq when it did its job. Walkability is about to do its its job as well. Brave bird. Even though I could have just went, um, into Latios and killed this. That forced that out. All right. Say more. See more. Ooh. That uh brings back memories of one of my uh, one of the people I lost last year. Squawky. Squawky, you did your job. You forced out the Annihilate. Miss Ball. Man, if I made a read of a god and I facaded there, Squawkabilly could have cleaned this up. Let's go, Latias. And depending on how invested this, actually, it might not matter how invested this thing is. Because this Mist Ball is going to blow this thing back. Because this thing is not Choice Scarf, it is in range. Squawkabilly did his job to force this thing out. And. Unless Mist Ball suddenly can miss. Let's go! Uh, GG to Scrub. That was a very, very fun battle, and I look forward to seeing how you do in the rest of the season. I finally got my second win after choking a lot of the games prior to this by not double checking my prep, not making sure my EVs were correct. I did all of that today. I had checks. I did everything else, and I'm so glad the prep paid off. Like and subscribe if you guys have it and enjoy. I'm going to catch you guys later and I'll see you next week. Peace.